In this episode, we're going to talk about instructions in Foundations Models Framework and why you should use it in your development. Before moving further, remember that this is a series of videos. In the previous two episodes, we implemented this application running Foundations Models Framework, and we also worked on the availability that detects if your application is capable to run Foundations Models or not. If you want to take a look at those videos first, they are in the description. But in this one, we're going to talk about instructions. First, let's run the application again. Here we have the empty list that we need to fill out with some food and some calories. In this case, the calories are calculated by the application or the foundations model. And my only work here is just adding what is the food. In this case, for example, I'm going to use scramble X. That's it. That's the only thing I have to do. And I click on save. It's doing the work. There you go. We have 150 calories. And you might say, okay, this is cool. However, I don't know if you have noticed something. In this particular example, I'm just providing a prompt saying, calculate the approximate calorie count for meal with name. And the name is a scramble eggs. I'm not super descriptive, but the thing is that I'm just expecting information from the calories from the food. But think about it. For example, for this kind of meals, you have other kind of ingredients like butter or oil that are also counting part of the calorie total. Looks like here we are not taking that in consideration. And we could add something like uh, additional information to the prompt. However, this is a very specific prompt and foundations model is providing a great way to summarize how this model should behave to your needs. And for that, we can use instructions. Instructions will be set here in the session configuration. When we initialize this food calorie estimator, we can provide those kind of instructions that will tell Hey, React has a chef, React has a teacher, React has a nutritionist, or anything that I want to make this calculation more accurate. Then based on that, every single problem will follow that instruction and will properly do the whatever we want. Let's see an example. But before that, let me take a screenshot here because I want to see what are the difference between this result and the result with the instructions. And now what I'm going to do is to comment this piece of code for now. This code was just getting a simple uh, session with the language model session configuration and provided a model that, as I said in the previous episode, this is redundant, but we did that for calculating the availability format here. In this case, let me bring this little piece of code that is basically doing the same, but now we are providing instructions. And if we go to the definition first of what is language model, uh, let's see. Here we have a bunch of default configurations. By default, you are providing a lot of things, but in this case, instructions is just a nil string by default. And instruction says, instructions controls models behavior. That's what I said about that. So, Every single prompt that you execute, let's imagine that you have a chat. In my case, the, the prompt is not dynamic, but if you have an instruction, instruction is something that you should manage internally, not something uh, expecting the user to tell something about it. This is what you will do here. But in my case, although I don't need that because I'm really specific about what is the information I want, here you can provide the baseline whole how you will react to the users or the clients. So think about it, it's like your boss telling you, hey, maybe you are a banker and you need to you know, assist people uh, about some credits or so. So your boss will tell you, hey, you should do this, you should establish a relationship, blah, blah. So you should look ABC accounts first. And then when you are with a client, the client is just requesting maybe a loan and you will do whatever you need to do, but based on what your boss or someone else explain you how the rules are, but 
the client will not give you that information. That is what the system in general, the bank in this case, or in this case, the model that you're building internally, you will give that information and then the user will uh, see the result based on that particular instruction. In this case, because we're calculating cal calories, I'm telling Ak has a professional nutritionist and estimates the meal's calorie content based on the information provided. Include additional calories from butter or oil when applicable. This is important because, I mean, if I'm putting here an, an apple, well, with just a fruit, right? We, we don't need to make it um, content has a butter or oil uh, food or something like that. However, if I said uh, apple pie, maybe that's a different story because there's a lot of butter in the process. So this is a pretty simple instruction. And the point is just to give you an idea. So from this particular instruction, let's see now the result. Let me click on this again and now see how the app would react. Remember that in the previous calculation, we got 150 calories. Let's see now. Scramble X. And 180. Okay. It's definitely a little bit higher than the previous time. And we can see here, yeah, the comparison 150 versus 180. So now you know how to use instructions in Foundation Models Framework. It's pretty easy, honestly. And well, I think you can also use other models like ChatGPT or whatever you want to make your instructions even more accurate for this Foundation Models Framework that works on device. Now, tell me, what do you think about this instruction configuration? Do you think it's useful for you? Do you have any idea how can I uh, create all kind of applications? Let me know in the comments, please, because this is just one little example, but the applications are unlimited. That's all for me, and remember that there are more Swift content in the description below. My name is Pete, and this, this is Tips. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.